Hey, friend. Chris Vandeviver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today, I want to examine the differences between saving your Logic projects as packages versus saving your Logic projects as folders. Logic provides us with two different systems for saving our projects. Each has their own benefit. Each has their own drawback. And so I want to examine the two. Anyone who's been with the channel and the website for a while probably knows that I prefer folders over packages. And the main reason is, is I just find it to be a little more organized, a little more transparent, just easier to dig into. But I will say I've had a couple of weird situations in the past where folks have sent me their projects as packages and just some weird stuff has happened. It happened enough that, in fact, I have an old video that was called The Correct Way to Save Your Logic Projects. And in that video, I recommended saving your projects as folders instead of packages. But as time has gone on, I felt more and more uncomfortable with that statement because many people do save their logic projects as packages. They don't have any problems as a result. So maybe I just bumped into one too many flukes. I don't know. If we take a look at the logic manual in the books app, it does say by default, Logic Pro saves projects as a special kind of file called a package, which non-Apple formatted hard drives and internet services don't support. And maybe this explains my particular experiences with packages. So in today's video, just going to look at this in an unbiased way. Why packages? Why folders? Why not packages? And why not folders? Cool. If we look in the finder, I've saved this project that we're looking at both as a folder and as a package. And this is really the biggest difference between the two. Packages are kind of like self-contained systems, whereas a folder is a little more exposed, a little more accessible to us as users. Packages, as we can see, it looks like a single project file. We don't see all these different folders for audio files and samples and bounces. And this could be really helpful for beginners because you're just dealing with the one project file and not a folder full of files. Whereas a folder, we can see we have the project folder, then we have the project file contained within, and all these different folders for samples, for audio files, for bounces. And this is the main reason why I love folders, just because I find it very transparent, and I find it to be a very organized system that's accessible. But you can dig deeper into packages just by right-clicking, going to show package contents, and we can see different things like project alternatives, they're saved within, media, that's saved within, so Alchemy samples, audio files, just about everything that was saved in the folder structure and different resources, but this is like more metadata type of stuff that we wouldn't dig into. If we go back to my desktop and let's navigate back to the two, let's now dig into why one would pick a package and why one would pick a folder. With packages, it's really handy because they're very transportable. And in fact, some of Apple's systems for sharing files require packages if you wanna share all of the different assets that would be saved within the project. So again, those samples, those audio files, etc. If we go up to file and go down to share and share both either AirDrop or Mail, I'm going to pick AirDrop just because it's a little easier for me. We're given a dialog that allows us to share as project or song. Now, song would be a bounce. It would bounce out the project. We can pick different qualities for our bounce. So we can pick WAV file, AIFF iTunes Plus, so on and so forth. Whereas a project is going to be this entire project plus the assets contained within. So everything that we see here in the folders within the project, these are going to be saved, but it has to be a package file for us to share it via AirDrop or Mail. And here we can pick my iPad and I can share right to my iPad via AirDrop. And similarly for Mail, whereas if we open the folder system and I'm just going to swap this, and if we go back up to file, go down to share, airdrop. Now, remember, this is a folder, not a package. If we try to share the entire project with someone and we click share, we can see the assets of this project are not going to be included because they live outside of the project. Even though they're all saved in the same folder, they're outside of the project file here. So all this stuff. And in this case, we would only share this file right here, the project file, nothing else. That's the main benefit of packages. They're easy to transport, easy to share. Apple systems require packages over folders. Now, again, the reason that I prefer folders is I find them to be more transparent. I find them to be easier to navigate. And all of the relevant files that you're going to want immediate access to, like samples and bounces, they all live in the structured format. 
Whereas with packages, you got to actually dig into the project file by right clicking and, you know, show package contents and go looking for those files. I just find it like one more barrier between me and the stuff that I need. But the other thing that I prefer with folders is that folders have a dedicated place for your bounces. When we first save the project, there is not a bounce folder, but as soon as you go into the bounce dialog in your project, so file, bounce, project or section, a bounce folder is created within that folder. And that's what I like. I like that my bounces have a place to live and they're not just hanging out in space. Whereas with a package file, let's open it up, close this down. If I go to bounce and then bounce this as a WAV file, we're gonna bounce it right out. In this case, there's no place for my project to live. It just hangs out in space. So if I bounce this right out and we'll do it right now and I'll speed up the video just so we can get right to it. Now that we've bounced our project, let's take a look in the finder. And just like that, we have our bounced project, but it doesn't have a home. So that's it. Differences between packages and folders. Packages are self-contained systems. They keep everything within the project file. So it's easy to transport. Easy to share via AirDrop or Mail because your Mac requires that the project is saved as a package to share via those systems. Whereas folders are a little more transparent, a little more accessible, and your bounces have a place to live instead of just floating in space on your Mac system. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, YLogicProRules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.